Normally I make a practice of deliberately trying to erase from my mind as soon as my sitter has left whatever messages may have passed. After all, such messages, being personal to my sitter and the communicator, are no concern of mine. For this reason I often don't remember from one week to another what has transpired. On the whole, the cultivation of this professional absence of memory works very well, but it can occasionally be embarrassing as when the sitter, who has probably spent the whole week pondering the events of the previous visit, arrives expecting me to recall in detail precisely what happened seven days earlier. However the circumstances of the tragic passing of the first of the four boys were so unusual that I could not easily forget them. I heard them again at three more seances. In each case the parents confirmed what I told them and marveled that I should describe these events in such detail. Wondering how it was that four lots of parents should thus have come to me, I asked my secretary if she had any knowledge of them. She could tell me nothing save that they came from the different parts of the country. I think it likely that they were all known to each other and by prior arrangements among themselves had come one after another for proof of survival and, perhaps, to test my powers of mediumship. A well-known authority and lecturer on psychic matters is Brigadier R.C. Firebrace. I am indebted to him for the details of an extraordinary sequel to one of my boys' seances where communicators speak in a replica of their earthly tones. Red Cloud announced that the brigadier would have further experience of direct voice mediumship at some other time at some other place. Shortly afterwards Brigadier Firebrace was sent to Latvia as military attaché. There he and his wife made the acquaintance of a Russian woman who was interested in spirit communication. It was not long before the three of them formed a circle for psychic development.